Good morning, Pure Structure Traders. Today is June 18, 2021. Uh, today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil. Give you guys some levels that we're going to be looking at for the U.S. Uh, open. I'm going to give you some of the major levels here on S&P 500. Wendy will go over some of her minor levels. Then I'll go over some of the levels on gold and also oil. For those who like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. For those who are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys have, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for S&P 500, I did have a level sitting, a major level sitting at 4169.75. Didn't necessarily get all the way back up there. I mean, back down there, but we did uh, try to pull down there. I am looking to get back above 4187.25 if we can. It may end up looking for a long above that area um, and try to pull it back up to 4225.50. Um, so we'll see if we can get that. If not, 4187.25, uh, we, if we stay under that, we may actually pull down into 4169.75. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Above 4225.50, my next level is 4238.50, and then 4257.25. Those are my major levels that I have on S&P 500. I'll be handing it back over to Wendy. She'll go ahead and give you guys some of the minor levels. Good morning. <clears throat> what a wild ride it's been the last couple of days. Um, we've had some amazing swings going along and short, hoping for another day like today. Um, so looking at the charts what kind of theater are we going to play today well i have uh my support is above david's it's at 74 that's the second support up above david's and you can see what happened took a nice little bounce there used a micro support i very rarely talk about micro supports only micro peaks but here's one for you micro support at 77 75 the market went above it and then came right back down to it looking left. You can see there was a micro support there. It hit it once, hit it twice, three times, four times. I hit my long there pre-market and went up. From this point on, I start checking out the micro peaks. <clears throat> number one, 4185.25. And when I say a number, I don't mean to the tick. It's in the general area. So 41. 81.25 is our first micro peak that it needs to stay above for the further move up. The second one is 41.84.50. <clears throat> it's hovering around there now. The market went above it, which is a good sign, came back down and bounced um, around it, didn't have the juice to bring it up to that third micro peak that I have at 41.90 area but it's still hovering around it. So it still could move up. It is marked. Um, and then our third micro peak is 4190.50. So we have to wait for the market. If it's going to continue the up move to pop up past that 4190.50 and then come back down and use it as support. It's looking a little bit weak right now. If it cannot use these peaks, for the trampoline bounce up, then it's gonna come down to David's lower support area, which I think you had, what David, around 67, 69, somewhere around there? Mm -hmm. Yep, yes. that's what's gonna happen. It's gotta use these peaks though. If it doesn't, it's gonna go lower. Um, so that's the micro areas for spoos. Uh, back to you, Dave, for oil and gold. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So for gold, we'll pull this over. Uh, we're a little bit uh, below our level of support, 1776.5. Um, looking to see if we continue to hold under that level, we may end up pulling down to our next level at 1768.2. That is my next level of support. Really couldn't get back up the way we wanted to see it go back up. So we'll see if the support can't hold as support and we actually use it as resistance right here and then try to pull it down deeper. Um, for the long, I'd rather it be back above this level and then try to continue the trade long. So uh, not really looking for the long just yet. Uh, get it back above those 76.5s, and that's going to be a better area for me. Uh, you can, though. It's not to say that there's not a little uh, micro area that's right there. It's just a micro area underneath my main level of support. So 
I'm going to kind of hold off on looking for that long right now. Let's go ahead and move it over into oil for you guys to see what we got there. For oil, we're under, well, kind of underneath, well, we're underneath 70, 75 for a little bit, a little bit above that right now. So we'll see if the market wants to hold this level and pop back up or if it wants to use it as resistance and pull itself down from there. Support underneath 69.99. Resistance above that 71.63, kind of chop in between the areas. So we'll give it some time to play itself out and then take a trade from there. Uh, right now, I prefer to look for the short unless we get the support holding 70.75, uh, but kind of between the area again. So we'll give it some time to kind of work itself out. But that's what we got for S&P 500 gold and also oil. Uh, let's go ahead and prepare.